Welcome to hell. Is this a dream? Nah, don't think so. It's gotta be. Not even a kid could believe in this. But when am I going to let go? to the other world. I don't remember. I think we gotta go through those double doors, but I wanna make sure. Because I know one of these rooms has the flashlight in it. Door there. A bunch of doors back there. There's a door basically where you have to go in and you have to switch a, a light off and uh, then you can see the flashlight. I think that's an ampule. I've forgotten something really important but I also have a feeling that I'd, I'd be better off not remembering it. So that's, that's the save. Okay, let's see. From here, what door did we miss? Okay. We've got the elevator, which we can't do. So there's three doors to our right and five doors to the left. Okay. That is a negative on all of those doors. This one takes us. This is a puzzle we need an item for. Ladder hanging, we can't quite reach it. Okay. Don't think we need to go this way just yet. I'm trying to remember. Oh, uh, just went in a circle. Thanks, camera angles. Okay, let's go back. There was that other big door which might have been closed on the other side. Again, I just want to double check everything. Um, so if we go down the hall. I think this door is broken, but I'll double check. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, we do have to go that way. Oh! Alright, which means now we gotta go. Hello, closers. Is there a door here? I don't think there is. 
these are all like shuttered up. Get that wall on the map. Did I get it? Yes. Alright, go through here. Box is broken. I think there's a health screen for something over here. Well, at least I thought there was. Maybe it's a different one. There we go. This should be... Yep, this is the room we're looking for. So, basically what it is, is if you look in this room, you'll find ammo and a med kit, and you're like, oh, this room is done. Why? But you might notice this room is brighter than the other ones. And... There's a light switch. If you turn that off, then you can find the flashlight. And that's very helpful as things are attracted to light. So, okay, so we need to head left, check those doors. Oh, we got the ladies' room. Oh, toilet time. Still see money where it looks like something's stopping it up. You remove the blockage. Get it. This is way too gross. Who would even think of doing something so disgusting? So that little joke is brought to you by us having a uh, save file of Silent Hill 2 on the same memory card. Or so I've been told. Um, apparently, if you have a save file... Oh, no. What is the... Mm, a toilet. Oh, no. I know what we need that for. Never mind. Um, so, I think... I think this is... This might be the only game that does that. Where if you have a save of an earlier thing, you get some sort of scene or benefit in a in a later game. Okay, you gotta go this way. Okay, I hear a closer. Hi closer. I'm gonna turn that light off so it stops aggroing them. And now we're gonna go in here. Uh, I'm gonna go over here. I believe if we interact with this, should be something else here. It's too dark. But only have flashlight. There we go. Bulletproof vest. It's heavy under the jacket, but it should protect against monsters' attacks. So it gives you a little bit more defense. Uh, it's not really necessary on on an easy action level, but it can be very helpful on on harder difficulties. Check the back here. Oh, that didn't sound good. I don't know what that was, but we need this. Okay. Um, and then I think that's basically it over here, because there's another wall. If we go to the left here, you'll see that there's just another wall. Couple of locked doors. I'll double check that door here in a second. I want to see if I can de aggro those guys. Okay. That's an unfortunate hit to take, but it happens. But we have the bulletproof vest, so we should still be, yeah, in the blue, which is uh, perfectly fine. There, goodbye. And then, in here, it does. We can't reach the ladder with our hands, but we can reach it.
with a hanger. By the way, if, if, if you know anything about metal hangers, you know they are not very strong, so the fact that she's able to do this is uh, kind of surprising. Um, <clears throat> not impossible, mind you. If you if you pull it just right, you can get it to where the, the knot of the hanger <clears throat> is doing a lot of the work instead of, like, the hook of the hanger. But yeah, metal metal hangers like that, it, the, that hook is... It's usually doubled over, so if you if it looks... It basically looks like this, right? So it's a thicker part of it, but it's still very flimsy and stuff. So it's uh it's kind of funny that she can even do that. Okay, I think that's where it wants us to go. No, it wants us to go that way anyway. Um before we go up, there's a uh, stuff we need to see over here. I don't remember what's in here. Um, some numb bodies. That's a lot of numb bodies. Ow. Rude. Okay. We'll need that unlocked as a shortcut. Okay, we're gonna have to... Our health up. Still blue, but we're fine with that. I couldn't remember if there was something we needed in here, but that, that's a shortcut we'll need, I believe. If I remember, remember correctly, that connects. Yeah, that's going to connect us to the hallway behind this area, which we will need. So, but before we go that way. <coughs> We have to interact with the TV. Also, by bit right. Okay, and then I want to interact with this. No more comments, just saving. At least for now. <clears throat> Alrighty, let's get into it. Bummer, it's gone. We need the walnut. This door is locked, right? No. Broken. Elevator. Where are we? Okay. And a door to the left, three doors to the right, and two more. Okay. Ow. Did you go die? Jesus Christ. I realize the closers are so hard to kill. Let's see, we should we should have taken some damage there. Where's our healing stuff? Oh yeah, I forgot they, they changed the interface. There. is broken. It's locked. This 
this is the shortcut we opened. Wrong button. There we go. Alright, is that all the doors? Uh, except the one to our immediate. Well, no. okay. I think that's all of them. Okay, so now we can take our shortcut back to the escalators and head up the escalators. So I think in that whole sequence, all we really needed was the walnut. I guess we could go down the escalators as well. This area is blocked off over here, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. All right, let's go ahead and save. Can we go up the escalators, or can we only go down? I can never remember. Okay, I think we can do both. Um, let's go up first. See what we got up here. Oh, I think this is where the puzzle door is. Maybe. Oh, we got ourselves a little diner. Barbecue dog. Who would eat it? Something in their stomach. Cooked key. Uh-uh. Can we examine that? There was one locked door. Okay. No, we cannot. Okay, you got a health drink. Aid kit. Lock is broken. The key is for the second floor. Let's double check we don't miss anything else. No, that's it. Okay. okay where are we at? Now, what does it look like? Apparently, there's a hallway across from us. Ah, yes, this is... It's locked. Bathroom. Is there really nothing in this bathroom? Huh. Okay, let's take a look at our map while we're in here. Okay, so there is a door at the end of the hall, and then we have to go back down. So that's what I figured, but I believe the door at the end of the hall is excessive. This one here. Oh, I was thinking of a different door. Hi, doggos. Bye, doggos. Also, one thing that's nice about this game, too, uh, only in certain parts I think it happens, but in uh, Silent Hill 2, if you try to read your map with your light off, it'll be like, it's too dark. I can't, I can't, read, my, I can't read my map. And he'll say that consistently. Whereas, we could keep our flashlight off for a lot of this. A little late because I had to charge my phone, so I had three times. Yeah, that's fine. Like, like I always say, any time you spend here is much appreciated, so... Even if you only got five minutes. Yeah, we are. We're on the Silent Hill 3 grind. Making our way through the mall. You've gotten the pistol. You get it at the beginning of the game. You get the pistol at the beginning of the game. It's what you killed the first. There's a cutscene for it. Um, okay. That's not the right button. 
a little long. Where was that locked door at? Okay, back hallway. It'd be easier just to take this one. Yeah, I actually think I missed the pipe. I'm very bad at finding melee, but I thought you get the pipe. You, you're forced to get the pipe too, but. Great thing to check the monster after she sounds like she's trying to convince herself it was a monster. It's one of those little details. Yeah. Yeah, we did that. Yeah. Well, this this the story is very uh very intense for very obvious reasons. Um because it definitely mentions uh oh there's a pipe. Yeah, I was like, I know there's a like obvious pipe around here. Um but uh, there's an event that occurs, I think, that is, or at least it's implied, um, that really uh, can be really upsetting. Okay, we don't want to go here. Just yet. Actually, we do. We, we're fine going here. Yeah, we did the it spread. We had to check all the it spreads. Hello, the nobodies. But yeah, the, the the implications in her story are a little uh, a little intense. Um, so, between the bosses and everything that happens throughout it, which I'm not gonna spoil too much for people that might be watching this for the first time, but uh, should be a vice in the back, right? No, that's the detergent, okay. Okay. Right, we'll do we'll do that. Well I guess we can go ahead and do that. We have what we need for it. Turn that off. By the way, the, the thing you're supposed to note here... It was next to the bakery sink. It's not for dishes, though. It's for the bathroom. That's the thing you have to note. But this... Is what you're supposed to read. This game actually takes advantage of the examine system, which the earlier games really didn't do as much. Um, do not mix. Uh, it's empty. And then there's bugs. And then we, being the psychopath that we are, will do exactly what we're not supposed to do. I don't remember if you have to wait for this. I don't think you have to. I think you can just do that and all the bugs should be dead. Yep, there they are. By the way, there's a bug. Ha! There's a bug with the bugs. Um, where I think on certain versions or certain emulation, uh, the bugs actually don't appear. They're, they just... They just don't exist. You're just blocked. Um, so... Kind of funny. You like walk over. And you're like, oh. It's like, what, what was that? <laughs> okay. So we're gonna explore before. That's the way we're supposed to go. But we're gonna we're gonna explore a little bit. We did miss quite a bit. Back in. Uh, this little area over here. Find them, buddies. I think the 
can go. Okay, that's locked. Oh, I guess we didn't miss anything. Let me double check. Okay, we did all those doors. Can't go that way, can't go that way. We didn't go down, but I don't think we need to just yet. Okay, so let's do the let's do the bug hallway now. That's where we came from. What's that sound? Oh no, that's not the way we want to go. Uh, I really enjoy this game. Okay. Yeah, because I think we need the key from this way. To uh, get to that door. Broken, broken. What's all those sounds? Like distorted mooing. Okay, ammo. Beef jerky. That is not a healing item, by the way. Uh, I don't, I don't think I showed this. So beef jerky is... Sometimes just enough to distract monsters. Which is interesting, because I don't think there's a lot of Silent Hill games that actually give you a bait item which allows you to, like, throw it on the ground and avoid monsters. A lot of them just expect you to avoid it by, like, running away. Um, but uh, this one actually gives you, like, an object to be like, here, go after that. Which is kind of cool. We probably won't be using it too much. But still, uh, still interesting. Bodies. We can go out this way, right? Okay, we don't want to go this way just yet. There's a lot of... A lot of things. Okay, let's go back. Especially the stupid buzzsaw things, which are called... Uh, actually, let me get through here first. Let me get back through here and I'll tell you what the little buzzsaw buddies are called. They are called pendulums. So, I call them buzzsaw bugs, because they basically sound like buzz saws. But it's always good to explore areas as you get to them, instead of, like, going straight for whatever's open first. Because there's a lot of times where you'll you'll get to a point you'll need an item that you could have gotten earlier, but by not checking, you have to go all the way back and get an item and then go all the way back to, to wherever you got locked out of. Um, so it's just a good habit in, in the... especially the early Silent Hills to do that, which... Unfortunately, I think all of these doors were locked. Or not locked, but blocked. Okay, now we can go out there. But, uh... That's just a little helpful hint if you're playing through the, uh... Silent Hill games. Because there's, there's multiple times where you'll be like, I found a puzzle! And then you have to go, like, all the way back to the beginning to grab a puzzle piece. And then you got to go all the way to the puzzle. And go all the way back to the... It's just... So it's better to grab as much as you can. Also, in games like the first Silent Hill, um, it's very easy to uh, to miss things. So, like for for example, if you're trying to save Sybil, uh, there is only one item in the game that can save Sybil, and it is completely missable. Um, get away, pendulums. Let me check my map real quick. 
Okay, so we need to go. 